hi my dear students how are you i think you are very fine so welcome to sri basava public school elkal this is the first chapter already we have started the chapter name is matter in our surroundings okay so welcome once again sri basava public school elkal online class sharanu sharanarthigalu Ninth class, okay. This is the ninth class, okay. So let we start. Which are the remaining aspects left in this chapter? We will discuss the detail about this chapter. The chapter name is Matter in our surrounding. Today we are discuss this aspect. The aspect name is sublimation. so what are the aspects or points we have discussed in the previous class so we have discussed matter classification of matter physical nature of matter and their properties okay then we have discussed which are the points here the states of matter existing in three those are the solids liquids and gases along with we have discussed their properties okay next to change of state also we have discussed that a change of state is a solid state is changes into liquid state and liquid state is changes into gaseous state again that gaseous state you can cool change into liquid and liquid state again you can cool get it to solid state then we have studied that a melting point or fusion of the water then latent heat of a fusion boiling point of the water latent heat of vaporization so these all aspects we have discussed in the previous parts now we are discussing aspect is sublimation so you think yourself only what is the sublimation okay so what definition of sublimation is the change of state directly from solid to gas or from gas to solid is called sublimation so this is the wonder phenomenon or of wonder process just in the previous class we have studied that the solid things are changes into liquid and liquid is changes into gas so what about sublimation here so here the sublimation is directly changes from solid to gaseous state without changing liquid or from gases to solid without changing liquid so this kind of phenomenon or process is known as sublimation so definition the change of state directly from solid to gas or from gas to solid is called sublimation so example if you can take anything camphor is the good example of sublimation naphthalene ball ammonium chloride these three are the uh, ex good examples of sublimation you can take any one or you can choose any one of the substance do, to do the this activity so now we have taken camphor camphor is available in home also in the laboratory also or ammonium chloride is also available in the laboratory also or uh, next naphthalene ball also we are uh, uh, getting from the uh, glo grocery shop or we can using in the bathroom or toilet room if solid camphor or ammonium chloride is heated it changes into vapor if the vapor are cooled it changes into solid so this activity we will do now so first you take which are the equipments uh, need for this activity so you can take first a china dish burner wire gas funnel cotton camphor or ammonium chloride or naphthalene ball okay we are taken here ammonium chloride or instead of ammonium chloride you can take the camphor also so now we can see the uh, activity of sublimation okay so are you are you want to see this activity okay we will see When a solid directly changes into its gaseous state on heating, 
The process is called sublimation. Let's do an activity. Take some camphor in a china dish and place an inverted funnel over it. Now, plug the stem of the funnel using some cotton. After this, start heating the dish slowly using a burner. After some time, you will notice that upon heating, camphor vaporizes without transforming into its liquid form. Later on, you will notice that the vapor gets cooled on the walls of the funnel and directly converts into solid camphor. After observing the sublimation activity, now we will discuss the next aspect is effect of pressure on gases. Effects of gases, uh, sorry, effect of pressure on gases. How it can be takes place? When pressure is applied on gas, the particles come closer and the gas changes into liquid. So in the figure gas is there, we are taken one syringe piston, okay. So that piston is filled by the gas, when, sorry, syringe is filled by the gas, when you apply the piston to their mouth, so the particles of the gas come closer and closer and closer and it is uh, changes into liquid. So this is the one method we can use to by applying the pressure if you apply the pressure the particles of gas come closer and gas can be changes into liquid instead so this is the effect of pressure on gas so next you can see we can liquefy gases by applying pressure and reducing the temperature so when you applying the pressure to the uh, for the liquefying the gases that time reducing the temperature also reducing the temperature for example lpg gas is there so this lpg gas actually long form is a liquefied petroleum gas the gas is applied by the pressure all the gas particles are come closer and closer then that gas is changes into liquid in the cylinder so then we can say that lpg means liquefied petroleum gas so that is called compressible compressed solid carbon dioxide is next we can see another example so here compressed solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice so you can take carbon dioxide and compress it, it and uh, that gas is uh, changes into solid form dry ice if the pressure is uh, reduced it changes directly to gas without coming into the liquid state. So, solid carbon dioxide is known as dry ice. So, this dry ice is used to transporting the fish from one state to the another state and next to one country to the another country, meat or flesh or uh, fishes, they can be transporting in the box filled by the dry ice. It, uh, does not melt easily so it takes that more time to change uh, change into liquid state okay so this is the effect of pressure on gases is it clear okay fine next we will discuss inter conversion of the three states of matter the states of matter are interconvertible itself only. The state of matter can be changed by changing the temperature or pressure itself only does not change the three states of matter. If you can give temperature or pressure, so then the states of matter can be changes. Here they are given in the chart solid is changes into liquid state solid is changes into liquid how it can be possible when the solid uh, substance can be changes into liquid if uh, if you apply the heat so that is called fusion or melting so the melting of ice is changes into liquid then this liquid is changes into gases then he, uh, if you apply the heat 
then it process is called vaporization and then gas is changes into solid so directly without changing the liquid in state we can say that sublimation so follow the arrow mark so here solid is changes into liquid this process is called fusion liquid is changes into gas that is called vaporization gas is changes into liquid uh, sorry gas is changes into solid that is called sublimation now we can come in the reversible solid is changes into gas that is called sublimation then gas is changes into liquid that is say condensation and liquid is changes into solid that is called solidification so can you understood this is the inter conversion of the three states of matter those are the solid liquid and gas okay so next point is evaporation okay evaporation for example here you spread water on the floor after few minutes you observe the water is disappear where it gone okay so it has gone to in the form of vapor that process is known as evaporation it is commonly we can say or generally so what is the actual definition of evaporation the change of a liquid into vapor the change of a liquid into vapor at any temperature if you give any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation clear once again you listen carefully the change of a liquid into vapor at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation just i told one example evaporation is a surface phenomenon particles from the surface gain enough energy to overcome the forces of attraction and changes to vapor state see here you spread water on the floor floor after few minutes you observe here the water can be disappear or evaporated this evaporation is takes place surface of the water particles from the surface of the gain enough energy if you gained enough energy of that water overcome the forces of attraction and changes to the vapor state so here the factors affecting evaporation which factors affecting the evaporation the rate of evaporation depend upon the surface of area temperature humidity and wind speed so these are the factors affecting evaporation of the liquid or water okay which are the factors are affecting to the evaporation surface of the area temperature humidity and wind speed okay next increase in the surface area increase the rate of evaporation how so here the surface of the area is more and the spreading of water also more is there so the evaporation takes place increasing increase the rate of evaporation increase in the surface area increase the rate of evaporation this is the main point second point increase in the temperature increase the rate of evaporation if the temperature cold or hot the more hot is there means then the rate of evaporation is also more increase in the humidity decrease the rate of the evaporation cool humidity means it is a uh, atmosphere which is containing the vapor and air that is called humidity more increase in the humidity decrease the rate of evaporation increase in wind speed increase the rate of uh, evaporation we can see the related pictures okay here evaporation is there so the evaporation is takes place by the four aspect i told those are the which aspect we have discussed surface area temperature humidity 
and wind speed okay clear fine here in the picture we are observed so next picture showing that here high energy evaporation takes place on the surface of the liquid medium energy pulled back into the water lower energy remain as liquid only okay this is the evaporation process and next evaporation is causes cooling evaporation is causes cooling how it can be we will see when a liquid evaporates the particles of the liquid absorb the heat from the surroundings and evaporates see the liquids are absorbing the heat from the surrounding and slowly it start that uh, evaporating their particles in the form of gas or vapor so the surrounding become cold for example people sprinkle water on the roof or open ground because during evaporation water absorb the heat makes the hot surface to the cool so during summer we sweat more because during evaporation of evaporation the sweat absorb the heat from our body making the body cool now you are feeling summer season so everyone felt that this type of the phenomenon process in your body because we are in the summer season wearing cotton clothes in summer keeps us cool because cotton absorbs sweat and then sorry and when the sweat evaporate it absorb heat from the our body making the body cool see here it can be absorb liquid absorb the heat from the surrounding and after evaporating the cotton uh, cloth if it has sweat then we can feel the cooling how evaporating cooling works here so here you you are using that uh, air cooler air conditioner is it okay the, here given that uh, filter is there in front of the filter uh, pump is there the pump is uh, uh, taking the water from the bottom and uh, in front of the pump we can kept that uh, fan so when the air is filtering so hot air absorbing the hot air and we can feel that uh, coolness okay clear hmm. next we can see the related one video from this activity okay have you ever wondered why ice turns into puddles of water on a sweltering day keep watching and you'll find out on earth materials exist in one of three main states of matter solid liquid or gas materials can change between these states. When a state change occurs, a substance's property will also change, maybe not too surprising. However, if the state change is reversed, the substance will recover the properties it had to begin with. Neat. Matter can transition between the three states when heated or cooled. But why is heat key in all of this? When a material is heated, it absorbs heat energy. This additional energy can cause attractive forces between molecules to break. This leads to rearrangements of the particles because the attractive forces no longer hold them together as tightly. The same happens when a liquid is heated. The attractive forces between the molecules break, leading them to become more widely dispersed and a gas to form. These four words describe changes in state. Do you know which word refers to which change? Pause the video, fill in the gaps, and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? Do you know the difference between evaporation and boiling? Both are when a substance transforms from a liquid to a gas. Think of a boiling pan of water, all of the water bubbles. This is because all of the particles have enough energy to become gaseous. But water standing in a pan that is not being heated by anything other than the environment can also turn into a gas. This is evaporation. Only the particles at the surface have enough energy to change from a liquid to a gas. Hence, 
evaporation is a slower process than boiling, even though it achieves the same state change. Both are types of vaporization. The opposite of these vaporization processes is condensation, the transition from a gas to a liquid. Think of a cold can of soda on a hot day. Those water droplets on the outsides, or the dew on the grass in the morning, or the steamed up mirror after a hot bath, even the clouds in the sky, or a foggy windscreen in a car. These are all examples of condensation. Water vapor in the air has cooled down to form liquid droplets of water. Now let's think about the transitions between solids and liquids, so melting and freezing. Think of the Arctic sea ice. In the summer, when air temperatures are warmer, more heat energy is absorbed by the ice. This causes bonds to break between the ice's water molecules and the ice starts to melt. The solid ice becomes liquid water. But in the winter, the air temperatures are colder and so seawater freezes and the ice starts to form again. There is less heat energy within the ice and so more bonds can form, holding it together as solid ice. So far so good. But did you know that sometimes when solids are heated, they can turn straight into gases? This is called sublimation. This is only demonstrated by particular materials such as solid carbon dioxide, also known as dry ice. When subjected to a certain pressure, it will turn straight into gaseous carbon dioxide. Liquid carbon dioxide does exist, but it only occurs under very high pressures. Similarly, gases can turn straight into solids when cooled. This is called deposition. Let's check out how much you remember about the changes of state. Pause the video and fill in the blanks. Did you remember them all? Our final thing to discover is that when a material changes states, the mass stays the same. The density changes, so the mass per unit volume, but the mass does not change. Our glass of nice cold coke weighs the same whether the ice is solid or when the ice has melted. So there we have the changes of state. Just remember that the mass stays the same whatever the state. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And okay, my dear friends, here after observing all the process, I think he, here you understood very clear. So here the end of this chapter. So thank you my dear students. Sharanu Sharanarthikul. Okay. So we can see in the next class and the new chapter. So thank you once again. Sharanu Sharanarthikul.